This YCN Sports Wrap Special featuring the 2017 Division II Basketball Champion, the Lady Raiders of Lebanon High School is presented by Hot Stitch Embroidery in Lebanon, the best for your team and so much more. Martin Insurance in New London and Kentucky and the Lebanon, New Hampshire area Chamber of Commerce at the crossroads of New England. Find out more at LebanonChamber.com. Hey, welcome back to this Lebanon Girls Basketball Special Championship edition of YCN Sports Wrap. Well, so far we've covered some of the regular season, the quarters, and the semifinals. So now let's move on to the championship. Lebanon came in with the number one seed and an overall undefeated record of 21-0. Hollis Brookline held the sixth seed and came in with a record of 16-5. These two teams met on Lebanon's home court back on January 10th. The Raiders won that game by 17 points, but this game of course was being played at the neutral site of Southern New Hampshire University, so anything was possible. So without further ado, let's now check out who was able to get the win and be crowned champion of Division II. Nearly 800 loud fans showed up for this Division II championship at Southern New Hampshire University's field house on a very brisk, windy March night. The atmosphere was a mix of excitement and anxiety, as one fan section knew they weren't going home champions. The game started off with a Lebanon possession, after Jocelyn Wainwright fought hard for the ball off of the tip-off. Leb's first attempt at offense came in the form of a missed shot from Anna Wolke, but Hollis's Brody Kelly missed a three at her end, giving the ball back to Leb. The Raiders would get on the board first when Wolke faked and drove, nailing a short jumper. Hollis turned the ball over and it was again Wolke hitting another shot giving Leb an early 4-0 lead. On the following Hollis possession, star player Cassandra Staplefield nailed a three-pointer, putting her team on the board. During the rest of the first quarter, the score went back and forth trading a small lead, but it was mostly Staplefield and Wolke scoring for their teams. Lebanon held a five-point lead after eight minutes of play with a score of 12-7. Wolke scored 10 of her team's 12, and Staplefield scored all 7 of the Cavs' points. To start the second, Lebanon struck first. After Staplefield missed a shot, Wainwright grabbed the rebound, and Hastings passed up to Wolke, who scored in transition. The rest of the second quarter would be all about defense and missed shots, as both squads shot a combined 3 for 20 from the field. Lebanon only scored 6 in the quarter, while Hollis scored just 3. At halftime, the Raiders held a small but relatively comfortable lead with a score of 18 to 10. Once out of the break, the Cavaliers came out ready to cut into Leb's lead after Balsamo saved a ball going out of bounds which found its way into the hands of Kenzie Day who buried a wide open three. Lebanon's lead was cut to five but Wolke soon hit another shot bringing it back up to seven. But another three came from Hollis Brookline's Balsamo as she cut the lead to just four. Wright was able to sink another bucket for Leb, but then Elizabeth Atkinson matched her with her own layup. With two and a half minutes remaining in the third, Staplefield drove and got fouled while shooting. She hit her first but missed the second free throw, which cut Lebanon's lead down to only three points. On Leb's next possession, Wolke saw a driving lane and took it to the hoop herself for a layup. After a Hollis Brookline turnover, Lebanon was able to shoot and get offensive rebounds, eventually resulting in a layup by Wright. But the Lebanon crowd calmed down a bit after Balsamo nailed another big three to bring Leb's lead to just four. But right before the third quarter ended, Wright scored another two points by hitting a silky smooth jump shot off an assist from Josephine Brown. This extended Leb's lead to six heading into the fourth quarter. To start off the final eight minutes of play, Jocelyn Wainwright scored first. Staplefield answered her with a big and one layup which really seemed to give Hollis Brookline the momentum. Lebanon turned the ball over on their next possession, which allowed Cavaliers Brody Kelly to drive and score two. 
Again, the Raiders turned it over, and Hollis's Atkinson was able to score a layup off an inbounds assist from Balsamo. This cut Lebanon's lead to just two points, the closest it had been all game after the Cavaliers' 7-0 run. But the Raiders didn't seem phased, as during their next possession, Madeline Hastings by herself drove through multiple Cavalier defenders for what she made look like an easy bucket. Hollis then missed a three and gave the ball back to Leb, and Wainwright off an inbounds assist from Hastings scored another layup to push Lebanon's lead back up to six. Staplefield was eventually able to hit another three and cut the lead back down to four. But with a minute remaining, the Cavaliers were forced to foul. Hastings, Wright, and Brown all went to the line and knocked down free throws to extend Lebanon's lead. By the time the clock had run out, Lebanon had won by a final score of 44 to 35. Anna Wolke led all scores with 16 points, shooting 8 for 15 from the field. She also contributed 3 assists and 3 steals. Rebecca Wright scored 11 while pulling down 7 rebounds. Jocelyn Wainwright scored 7 along with a monstrous 18 rebounds and 4 steals. And Maddie Hastings scored 7 with 5 rebounds and 4 assists. As for Hollis Brookline, Cassandra Staplefield led her team with 15 points and 4 rebounds. A big difference in this game was shooting percentage, as Lebanon shot 41% from the floor while Hollis shot just 27. The Raiders didn't hit a single three-pointer compared with Hollis's five, but Lebanon shot just once from beyond the arc, while the Cavaliers shot 19 times with just a 26% success rate. Lebanon has now won six girls basketball championships, five coming from 25-year head coach Tim Kehoe. Lebanon will lose seniors Wayne Wright, Melendi, Rogers, Brown, and Greeley to graduation. But coach Kehoe will have another great team in 2018, with Wright, Hastings, Soul, and Wolke all returning for at least two more seasons. Congratulations to the Lebanon Raiders on an unforgettable championship season. It sure was a pleasure to cover this team throughout the playoffs. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but when YCN Sports Wrap returns, we'll be taking a look at what Lebanon's head coach had to say about his fifth championship. We also caught up with Wright, Wolke, Wainwright, and Soul to get their take on the game and the season. We'll be right back. 